mankind is ever expanding the frontiers of technical superiority into areas unknown and uncharted. Each quest promises marvelous discoveries, but each also brings potential danger. In direct response to the dangers of our advanced technology, we need an organization that is ready to mobilize dramatic survival resources at a moment's notice. Conceptions and rescue that can challenge the impossible. Thunderbirds 2086. Thunderbirds, five of the finest cadets in the world, dedicated to the service of mankind wherever he may be in distress. Combined with a dazzling array of vehicles and equipment designed to specifications in the space age technology of the 21st century. A special rescue squad ready to answer a last chance distress call. A call that could arrive at any time from any disaster scene on or off this planet. These are the Thunderbirds 2086. This is your New World Times reporter with the story that's on everyone's lips tonight. The strange space phenomenon that has entered our solar system only 24 hours ago. 24 hours that have shaken the world. What is it? Comet? Asteroid? Meteor? Or something else? Whatever this intruder is, it has unleashed incredible forces affecting our planet even from this distance. Intense heat waves are drying up cities and beaches. Reports still pouring in from all around the world tell of raging tornadoes and windstorms. Tropical hurricanes and typhoons, all supercharged by the powerful electrical particles in the air. Volcanoes erupting in the Far East. Glaciers moving. Wait, flash electrical overload burning out the transmission towers of the Eleven. I say, old bean, here we are beginning our story, our adventure into outer space. I can't wait to see what happens to us. We're not in the story. What? Hey, come back. Commander Simpson, reports still coming in from all over the Earth. So far, the local emergency units are preventing the potential dangers, but the World Council wants the Thunderbirds on condition red until we can get some accurate data on this object. We have it at 30,000 kilometers past Pluto. Have the master computer project a course based on its current speed and heading. Entering data now. Whatever it is, it's big and fast. Course being plotted. Sir, if the object continues on its present course, the computer shows it will collide with the Earth in two days. Impact point is the Pacific Ocean in the Northern Hemisphere, and the shock waves will be tremendous. All right, the Council right away. Have Thunderbird 6 remote a deep space probe. Remote space probe Delta approaching target. Sir. Take a look at this. The alien object is moving away from our probe. It's changing course. It seems to have a mind of its own. I'm increasing speed to try to get closer to whatever it is. 100,000 clicks and closing. We're near enough for a data sample. Crosslink all data to Simpson. Roger, sir. Let's see what we're dealing with. Receiving data transmission from deep space probe Delphus. Chemical and mineral composition seems to resemble that of a comet, but there is a plasma energy shield surrounding the nucleus. The probe has picked up a solid nucleus about 10 kilometers in diameter. 
Can we get a visual on this? Should be able to get a picture in a few minutes. Uh, sensors indicate strange activity in the nucleus itself. It could be volcanic, but it could also be mechanical. If it's not a comet, it sure is disguised well. Well, stay on it. Sir, receiving first visual information. Wow, that's like no comment I've ever seen. Have the probe do a complete scan of the nucleus. Transmitting, sir. Comets normally head for the sun, not a planet. We interrupt our programming with a special interruption. The World Council just released the first visual data on the intruder that has been disrupting our atmosphere. It resembles a comet, except that the tail is a solid plasma shell. The question is, what is inside the shell? Fascinating. There's nothing fascinating about an object on collision course with the Earth. It's almost six hours. I can't take much more of this waiting. It's making me nervous. I'll drink some juice to that. Really? If that thing actually is one of those space phenomenons like a comet, a couple of booster rockets and move that baby right back into a normal elliptical orbit. Yes, but so far, all data points to some kind of alien intelligence, and that potentially means a deliberate attack on the Earth. Well, the sooner we get some action, the better for me. In the meantime, pass me some more of that there juice and turn the channel. I think Space Doggies is on the Tri-D. Sir, alien object is picking up speed. I'm trying to establish an intercept course for Delphis. Hmm. Process all output from the photometer for highest resolution. Sir, I don't believe it. Take a look at this. It's absorbing our energy scan. <gasps> Control, process those scans right away. This is the high resolution scan of the interior of the comet nucleus. As you can see, it is definitely of alien origin. Your mission is twofold. First, you are to knock it away from a collision course with this planet, then try and make contact with it to learn the purpose for this attack. What if this object doesn't cooperate with us? I'll leave that to you. We'll make it an offer it can't refuse. Our projections give us about 12 hours. After that, that thing is going to hit the Earth like a bomb. 12 hours? You don't think the UFO could really be a bomb in a literal sense? We don't know what we're dealing with, but the sooner we find out... The sooner we find out. You're to pick up Thunderbird 17 for immediate rendezvous with the UFO. Thunderbird 1, away. Thunderbird 2, away. Coming in for a link. ETA Thunderbird 6, one out. Ready to punch in main booster sequence. Roger, course heading plotted. All boosters fire on my command. Roger. Thunderbirds, we have you on our screens. Begin your final approach. Roger, Thunderbird 6. Required docking assignment. Space Dock 7 is expecting your link up. Hologramic guidance systems on. Thunderbird 17 is in liftoff position. Three seconds to ignition, start booster sequence. Power panel screen. Ion drive converter is punched in and sequence is online. Course correction coming up. At three Gs, we rendezvous in two hours. Let's burn it. Ion conversion set. Power panels all green. Here we go. The 
The UFO is changing course again. The object speed is fluctuating, course and heading very erratic. Sounds like it is engine trouble. Any radio signals or other transmissions picked up? As of this time, we have received no radio transmissions of any kind. Stand by to receive new course data for the object. Roger, sir. Sir, new data arriving from Thunderbird 6. Approach speed is definitely increasing. The object's movement is too erratic for Thunderbird 17 to get close enough. Commander, if you remote launch Thunderbird 10, I can transfer and place the boosters. You'll receive coordinates for a link up with TB-10 and you'll take that craft in. Roger, Commander. Our reports show it moving very unpredictably. Conditions are getting worse. We are running out of time. Roger, Thunderbirds are out. Sir, speed of alien increasing. Impact confirmed in six hours. Thunderbird 6, this is Thunderbird 17 entering target zone. Greeting you, Thunderbirds. Thunderbird 10 is away. Booster extension and ignition. Closing on target. It's not acknowledging us at all. Magnetic and electrical output is tremendous. Come in, Commander. What's the situation on Earth? The UFO has a heat beam aimed directly at us, and it's following it straight in. To target Earth. If no communication is achieved or you cannot divert the UFO, it will be destroyed 200,000 clicks from Earth. Sir, we'll try not to cut it so close. It just doesn't make any sense. Why won't they communicate with us? It's got to be a malfunction of some kind. It's traveled a long way. For their sake, I hope that proves to be the answer. Whatever's in there is in for quite a shock. Air Federation support troops all over the globe and space patrol squads positioned in orbit. TB-10 coming up. Ready for rendezvous. Dylan? On my way. Dylan, we're in position. Roger Grant. I'm ready. Stand by opening airlock. System secure. Three remote boosters aboard. Assuming manual control. Closing on target. Jess, feed me coordinates for placement of the rockets. Target coordinates plotted. Relaying launch window parameters. Roger. Position plotted and rockets armed. Beginning my run. UFO 45 million clicks and closing fast. Impact position still confirmed. Commander Eaton wants his space patrol in on the action. What shall I tell him, sir? This is still the Thunderbird show. Have him stand by. Right now, I want as few people as possible near that thing. Chief, I'm in position. Be careful of collision. That thing is wormholing all over the place. I read you, Grant. Targeting computers patched into cockpit monitor. Locking on target, preparing to fire. Firing! Number one is on target. Number two away. Number three is away. All rockets in position, T-minus 10 minutes. The new flight plan is locked in. It should scoot around the sun and shoot back out the other side of the system. This is no comet. It may have a mind of its own. Open bay door. I'm bringing TB-10 inside. T-minus three minutes and counting. 
Punch in reverse thrust. Take us back 5,000 clicks. Roger, reverse thrusters online. Two minutes and counting. Go to condition red. UFO is 1,000 clicks from ignition position. 50 seconds. Picking up any communication? Nothing. It's as silent as ever. It's closing fast. Standing by, boost your ignition. Once it's on the new course, we'll pace it until it's cleared perihelion. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Fire! The UFO is breaking up. Explosive detonation. Power up the radiation screen. Something's still moving there. The UFO is undamaged. Get a fix on it. Forward impulse power. Open up all hailing frequencies. Hold on. I'm picking up a transmission. Where am I? Snake, 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 protoid malfunction. No life form readings. I must perform my function. Dylan, transmit universal close encounter messages on that wavelength. Roger. Punching in the message. Thank you for your assistance. Star Soul System is incorrect destination. It's still locked onto a collision course with Earth. Swing us around and go to battle stations. in targeting systems. Try to knock it out of line. Fire! Direct hit. Course unaffected. It's absorbing the energy. Let's try around the fusion warheads and follow it up with a laser chaser. Right in its tracks. Come in, unidentified object. Thank you. Energy charge sufficient for analysis of problem malfunction in guidance system. Alternate target heading now established. It's heading for the sun. Inform Simpson we're following it in. It's not responding to any of our signals again. Take us in for a closer look. Come in, UFO. We are from Earth, the third planet in this system. What is your mission, over? Who sent you and where did you come from? I am programmed not to interact with alien life forms. It's just a machine. It's only programmed to do certain things. It's not concerned with us. It's not even aware of the disaster that was avoided. The question is, what is it going to do now? Steady. Firing retros. Looks like a collision course with the sun. Wait, it's taken a position two million clicks from the sun. Hold on now. I'm registering intense magnetic disturbances around the UFO. Eternal temperature rising. Look at that. Discharge. Some kind of magnetic flare. It's drawing power from the sun. The probe is a solar collector designed to store energy from stars. There's nothing we can do to stop it. Just how much power can it store and where will it bring this power? 
massive solar flares building. It seems to be leaving. Gravity increases. We've got to pull back fast. Full reverse thrust. coming back in. It's setting up for another power flare. System status. We still in one piece. All systems back online. We've stabilized. What's the status of the UFO? It moved past perihelion and it's heading out of the system. It nullified the gravity well and saved us. This time it's us who thank you for your assistance. I am a protoid probe droid. I have been traveling for 200,000 years inside the plasma transporter, but my guidance equipment broke down and locked onto your system in error. My prime directive is to seek sources of solar power to bring home to the protoid system sun. This system of Sol has only a class G star. It is not a primary target, but the energy from your sun is enough to repair my malfunctioning equipment. I must continue my voyage. It's a long time. With a long trip back home. I hope it doesn't get home too late for supper. This is your New World Times newscaster. All atmospheric conditions are back to normal as the strange UFO leaves our system and heads out to another galaxy far, far away. Will its sun still be alive when its mission is completed? I guess we'll never know. But, well, this newscaster for one hopes that UFO makes it. And thanks to the Thunderbirds, we've made it as well. Until next time, over and out. <laughs>